10 Things Not to Do to Not Hurt Your Dog Our canine pals are filled to the brim with unconditional love and loyalty that lasts a lifetime. Man's best friend is responsible for keeping us company, protecting us, and helping with different kinds of work. A friend indeed. Of course, to get the most out of the relationship, we humans have to play our part in keeping our dogs safe and happy. Dogs are vulnerable to many physical, psychological, and emotional problems, and it's important to know how these issues can be solved or prevented. Without further ado, here are 10 ways to avoid hurting your dog. Number 10. Not having a fence, gate, or leashes. According to data from the National Institute of Health, NIH, dogs are the number one animal species involved in animal-related traffic accidents. An average of 1.2 million dogs are hit by road vehicles every year in the U.S. That's nearly 3,300 dogs every single day. As such, important steps need to be taken to ensure Fido doesn't become a statistic. One step is erecting a fence or wall around your yard. The fence must be tall enough to stop your dog jumping over, and it must be deep enough to stop the dog from digging an escape tunnel. Your gate must also remain securely closed if not locked. If you don't have a fence, you can keep your dog or dogs inside the house or in appropriately sized cages. You can also tie your dog to a tree or secure post with a leash or a comfortable chain that grants access to food, water, and shade. Number 9. Chocolate as a Treat Despite being considered carnivores, dogs actually have omnivorous tendencies. Sure, some pups are picky eaters, but some dogs will eat just about anything, which can be problematic. One food item that has recently been found to be hazardous to dogs is chocolate. Now, of course, too much chocolate is bad for humans as well, but even the smallest piece can be disastrous for your dog. Chocolate has chemicals like caffeine and theobromine, stimulants that are difficult for dogs to process. Minor effects of chocolate poisoning can include stomach pain, nausea, and dehydration. Diarrhea is also common. In severe cases, chocolate poisoning can cause heart inflammation, cardiac arrest, seizures, and even death. So the next time your dog gives you the eyes while you're nibbling on some Toblerones, just wave your finger and tell him it's for his own good. 8. Leaving Drugs Within Reach The good news is that your dog is unlikely to succumb to peer pressure at the local dog park. The bad news is that your dog can still fall victim to drug overdoses at home if you are not careful. Much like kids, dogs must never be allowed to have unsupervised access to medicines in the house. Remember how some dogs will eat anything? Well, that could include a bunch of pills and medical supplies. To avoid potentially deadly consequences, ensure all drugs are kept in a secure place that is out of physical reach. You could also make use of dog-proof medicine boxes and caps. Number 7. Use of Harmful Chemicals Many household chores require the use of chemical agents. Cleaning the floor and countertops, dealing with bugs, and tending your garden are just a few examples. Unfortunately, and often unbeknownst to us, our dogs can be more sensitive to some of these chemicals and react badly. Glyphosate, for instance, is a popular chemical used for killing weeds in gardens and farms. The only problem is that this poison doesn't discriminate and may have toxic effects on animals in that environment, including dogs. Glyphosate has been found to cause cancer and birth defects in humans and several animal species. Therefore, before purchasing or using certain products, do some research or consult manufacturers to see if they are pet friendly. Number 6. Bad Chew Toys Dogs love playing and goofing off, but the best fun is safe fun. You must always be aware of what your dog is up to, especially if it is still a growing pup. Not everything is a toy. The home is, uh, home to many potential dangers for overly curious dogs. Things like batteries, exposed wiring, and toxic plants must be kept out of reach or removed from the dog's environment altogether. You must also keep an eye out for small toys, which can present a choking hazard. You must also dispose of trash responsibly. That means no beer cans, coffee cups, or chocolate wrappers left lying around. Permissible toys must also be cleaned with non-toxic agents and inspected for safety. 5. Letting them be the alpha as you know, dogs are descended from wolves. Despite centuries of breeding and domestication, they still retain that instinct for hierarchy within a pack. The pack nowadays is the family. Like in wolf packs, 
dogs in the home are well aware of who the top dog is or isn't. As the owner, it is imperative that you establish and reinforce your status as the alpha dog, so to speak. Your dog, depending on breed and personality, will occasionally try to push those boundaries as a test of the pack order. Failure to respond to these boundary tests could give your dog the impression that he or she is the head of the house, which is a problem. The problem is much worse and potentially dangerous if you have a big dog like a Rottweiler, Pitbull, or Cane Corso that feels like the alpha. Dogs in this position may prove to be resistant to training and reluctant to follow learned commands. Famed canine expert Caesar Milan always advocates being the leader of the pack when it comes to raising dogs, and for good reason. Number 4. Teaching Separation Anxiety Many of us have to leave our precious pets at home to engage with the world for work, school, vacations, and other aspects of life. The last thing you want is for your dog to feel abandoned or anxious about your absence. Unfortunately, many owners inadvertently train their dogs to become this way by framing separation as a bad thing. Examples include being visibly distraught or using your sad voice every time you leave the house. Dogs are extremely sensitive to human emotions and voice tone, so your pup could be conditioned into thinking your departure is the end of the world. This is separation anxiety, a condition that affects dogs differently. Some dogs get over it after a few hours alone, while others mope around the house until your return. To prevent this issue, you must treat your comings and going as neutrally as possible. No sadness when you leave and no over-the-top celebrations when you return. With time, the dog will see that your movements are no cause for concern. Number 3. Lack of Exercise As descendants of wolves, dogs have an inherent love for running around in the great outdoors. Exercise is an important part of a dog's development and well-being. Not only does it keep your dog in shape, but it also releases endorphins that make your dog feel good. The amount and type of exercise depends primarily on your dog's age, breed, and general fitness levels. Puppies and old dogs don't need as much exercise as dogs in their prime years, three to nine years old. Unfortunately, some owners are unable to exercise their dogs because of lack of time, lockdowns, and sheer neglect. Lack of exercise can cause dogs to gain weight or release pent-up energy in unhealthy ways. If your dog is digging holes in your yard, chewing on furniture, or barking incessantly, it could be a sign of an animal with extra energy to burn. Additionally, obese dogs are more likely to suffer from joint problems as they get older. Big breeds like German Shepherds and English Mastiffs often suffer from hip dysplasia later in life, so they need strict weight management. 2. Leaving the dog in the car Many of us have been guilty of this to some degree. Maybe you just leave your dog in the car so you can pop into Starbucks for 5 minutes. Or worse, maybe you leave the dog in your workplace parking lot until lunchtime. Regardless of the specifics, this is a big no-no. Car interiors can get hot pretty quickly, and you must never forget that your canine Amigo has a very different heat management system. Unlike humans, dogs cannot sweat to cool off. They have to pant, which could be a challenge in a stuffy vehicle. Your dog could run out of air and experience great discomfort in that space, even when it doesn't seem that hot to you. As such, you should leave the dog at home or doggy daycare if the places you're driving to are not pet friendly. Number 1. No Grooming We all love a refreshing shower and feeling clean. While some dogs may not have a similar sentiment towards bath time, they do benefit from being clean and well-groomed. A dog's adventures can expose him or her to many nasty environments and animals. Rolling around in the mud, frolicking with other dogs at the park, and the classic drinking out of the toilet bowl are a few examples. This means that you, as the owner, have the responsibility of cleaning up. Bathing helps eliminate body odor and helps maintain the sheen in your dog's coat. The scrubbing also helps with circulation. Just make sure you use safe soaps and shampoos that will not trigger allergies. Dogs with long fur, like Irish wolfhounds, also require regular haircuts and brushing. You can check out a bunch of cool dog clippers and grooming kits on Amazon and do it yourself at home. Alternatively, you can go to professional groomers if you are not confident. Nail care is also important, but often neglected. Dogs with long nails could have a difficult time walking on hard surfaces, which can affect balance and put undue pressure on joints. Lastly, you must also be on top of your dog's dental health. Try to brush his or her teeth at least three times per week using a dog toothbrush and an all-natural dog toothpaste. 
never, ever use human toothpaste because certain chemicals could cause problems. Alternatively, you can provide your dog with dental chews or get pro groomers to help you out. For your own safety, it's best to start brushing your dog's teeth from an early age.